I'm Carol Bauer, I'm the Head of Learning at The Mess, the talent management company that develop our bespoke uh, learning products, so that's, that's digital learning, comms or video based materials. There's a, an imperative to enable learning within organisations, to enable self-directed learning and the traditional models don't really stack up. Rather than creating, distributing learning, um, it's more about facilitating and enabling that learning. L&D have a, some big agendas. They have to prepare their people for the future of work. Themes that we're seeing come through are around digital transformation, um, equipping people to be more agile in the way that they work. We have a different mindset now. Our learners have a voice, they are consumers. We have become uh, change agents. I think, you know, historically we were doing more digital learning, but a little bit more formulaic in our approach. But now in our studio, we have a very complex landscape. We have digital producers, we have video producers, we have people doing comms. So our skills are having to expand um, with the changing landscape. Course Maturity Research Program is a benchmark study and it, provides, it certainly provides us with insights on what's happening out there in the learning space. It's also really valuable in that it provides us with a snapshot of what the top deck are doing differently. Clients will ask us to run a strategy day with them and the towards maturity is always something I personally would look to to bring some statistics forward and, and show and showcase what's happening. When you're developing a product, you're solving a problem, so you do need those insights to validate that yes, this will land, this will work um, with learning audiences. So it's been invaluable really in sort of underpinning some of our thinking, for example, around the self-directed learner and the rise of the self-directed learner, and also organisations trying to reach those self-directed learners, that, that need and that appetite. You know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to shape products to deliver against that if we didn't have those insights coming through. We've seen not just the stats around the difference, but actually what they're doing differently. Because that's essentially what organisations want to know is, you know, what do I practically need to do?